What's up, Kyle Gang? Welcome back to Mechanics. So let's solve this problem. So we're given this 20 millimeter white block and it's being pulled by P and you can see how it kind of gets deformed here at this angle. And our goal is to find the magnitude of P which allows us to pull this material like that. So we're given the shear modulus of elasticity, 26 GPA. Uh, yeah, shear modulus of elasticity, right? I hope so. Yep, that's what it's called. Kind of a lot of words to remember here, right? Shear modulus of elasticity. We're given that, and our goal is to find right, how much P pulls. So basically, let's, let's kind of map out the end of this problem before we solve the beginning of it. So we have the equation here. Shear stress is equal to the shear modulus of elasticity times shear strain, right? And shear stress is equal to P over area, right? So we can keep writing it like that. Now, P is pulling at this angle here, so if we look at the area in terms of this direction, it's going to be causing that shear stress. So we know that our P here is going to be equal to that P there. So this is what we're solving for. So we're going to need everything else. So we can find area, right? The length time width, pretty easy. Modulus elasticity given to us. So we need to find that shear strain. So how are we going to find shear strain? Well, this is kind of a chapter two problem, but we're going to draw a diagram. So shear strain has an equation, and it's basically the change of that eta, theta. So it's the equation for shear strain is pi over two minus theta, and that theta is whatever that new angle is. So we need to draw a triangle. Um, so I'm gonna exaggerate this triangle, just for sake. So this triangle is that same triangle here with the dotted lines. That's the triangle I drew. Now we know that it becomes 0.5 millimeters over, so this bottom is gonna be 0.5. And this line here, the height stays the same, 150 millimeters, right? The height stays the same. So if you want to find this theta, we know theta is equal to inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent, so 150 over 0 0.5. Uh-huh. This theta we're going to find is 1.567 radians. All right, so then if you want to find our stre uh, shear strain, we're going to take pi over 2 minus 1.567 and we're going to find that this number is 3.33 times 10 to the negative 3 radians. So now we can go back to this equation and solve for P. So I'm going to multiply area over, uh, and I'm just going to write this all out. So P is equal to area. So area is uh, length times height. So we're going to it's 20 millimeters wide, so we're going to take 0 0.020 for the width. The height we know is 150 millimeters, so 150. Right. Then we're going to take, uh, what are we looking for? Modulus of elasticity, 26 GPA. So uh, giga is 10 to the ninth, so we're going to do 10 to the ninth. And then finally, our uh, uh, elastic sh or shear strain, right? So 3.33 times 10 to the 3, negative 3. Okay, so then this is everything we need in our equation. We're going to calculate that P is equal to 260,000 newtons. There we go, that's our final answer. All right, so not too tricky, just about making sure uh, you know how to do this angle calculation and you know all these uh, names of these equations. And yeah, after that, you got it going. So if you have any questions, feel free to check out my channel, ask in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.